Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Sevtex. So, uh, we are back at our base, and uh, I don't think I've done too much since the last episode. Um, but I did realize, uh, let's just mine something here, just quickly here. I did figure out something which makes me feel a little shameful for learning it now and not earlier. But, um, I mean, this is the thing, right? This is a new mod pack to me. Uh, a lot of new mod features in here. There's a lot of mods I've never even touched in my life. So I think that's what makes this uh, pack really cool is uh, I'm learning some new mods, but uh, at the same time I'm enjoying it. It doesn't feel really grindy at all. Of course, I am doing some grindy moments, but I think that's more self-inflicted than what the pack asks or needs. Uh, just a habit, and I don't mind doing that as long as I'm doing it in an enjoyable method, right? So I'm just going to get some cobblestone here. Let's get... 32 just to make it an even number. I know we can only do 16 at a time, but I realize that you can throw cobblestone on this thing and it should cook the cobblestone for us rather than doing this painful method. Now, somebody's probably mentioned this before. Remember, you know, these videos, people tend to record them slightly ahead of time. So keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, I just like, oops. Well, what a, what a derp there, right? But uh, yeah, we got that. And then I thought we should probably make some torches now. I mean, I've been procrastinating torches for a very... Oh, that looks cool when that went down. Ah, it just gives like a weird sight there. I've been procrastinating torches for a very long time. So I think it's probably just time to deal with that. Now, I wonder if there's a better way to make these twines. Actually, it doesn't show any better way. Okay. So basically, we go like this and uh, we just shift click. There you go. And we'll get rid of this old one here. And uh, there you go. So one of the things you can make is torches, if you didn't know that. Uh, torches are pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and make, uh, let's make uh, 16 of them for now. And uh, there you go. It's an unlit torch, but all you have to do is right click on the fire and uh, they will light them. And they're low light, uh, low light level. So uh, let's see if I can get an example of this here. Uh, it's very little light level. Let's hit F7. So... Um, it's hard to actually do a good representation. There you go. So it does, it's block and two out. It won't even light that one. That's how low light level it is. But we can actually upgrade them uh, to be a bit better. And uh, that is the totem here, which is basically a bunch of sticks and then that. So uh, unfortunately, you're going to have to do it this way. Um, that's the only downside to it, but definitely worth it. There you go. We do it again. And again, so even though it's a slight pain in the butt, it's an awesome pain in the butt to be honest. And I'm sure over time you'll have a way better method of doing this or you'll be able to craft in multiples, etc. Right? But uh, I think this is awesome right here. It doesn't really take long at all. Uh, we'll do eight, I guess, for now. There you go. And uh, yeah, let's we'll get rid of this one for now. So we got eight of these guys, and now, uh, well, I'll just put one here, and it'll probably light all that up. Boom. Yeah. Oh, instant break. So it acts like a torch, uh, but it is a solid object. Oh crap! And there goes the base. Oh, we made it in time. That 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 was a bit of a surprise there. <laughs> I'm like, uh, wait, that just happened. I'll just keep that there. It'll help light up the area. So there we go. We got the, the torch uh, up and running. Now, I noticed there was a flint block. I never looked into it much, but um, I saw this here, a flint block. And I think you can convert that. Oh, there's a stone anvil. Okay. Well, I haven't attempted. It's unfamiliar. Okay. So th this must be a little bit more later. Oh, millstone. A grindstone. Oh, here we go. Better with mods. Interesting in the slab. Okay. So yeah, I was looking around and I uh, had noticed this, but I wasn't sure uh, how you make the millstone. Now it shows a gear, so I'm wondering if this can be done by hand or if you need a special, because it, it's a mill. It uses the term mill, making me think that you might need something a little more special for that, so I'm not 100% sure. But I noticed it was another way of getting um, flint, flint, basically. 
Of course, the other way, if you forgot how to get it, was using this and this, and you get your flint out of that. Um, I don't know if that's bedrock or something else, but that's just weird. Uh, I keep wondering about that. <laughs> so we'll we'll do uh, the other way, just to use up the durability on this anyways, and we'll grab some flint. And uh, here we go. And yeah, I'm just going to use this up anyways. There we go. And we'll get rid of you. Awesome. And then I think I'm going to break these down to the, the first level. We'll start with that. I wonder if you could actually use this in a grinder or something like that. I never thought of that because we're making these, right? So is this in world? Okay, never mind. There we go. And I want to make some shears. So shears, uh, there is actual bone shears. You can make bone weapons even, I think, and everything else too. Uh, let's type in bone actually for fun because I'm kind of interested what there is. Uh, so you got bone axe. The bone axe, oddly enough, is less damage than just a regular axe. Nine attack damage. But you probably get more out of it, like 195 durability. No. I have no clue why the hell you would want bone anything then. Uh, there's dark stone uh, stuff. So nine looks about the same. A bit faster attack speed, I guess. And then, so that makes you like, you know, uh, what, 20% faster? Or is that like 10% faster? I wasn't really paying attention. And then durability is actually worse. So these aren't really uh, a big deal either. Interesting. Just looking what we have access. We have a bear claw paxel. Mining level diamond. Look at the durability on that thing. Holy crap. Well, we can make that, I think. We have... Oh, you need three bear claws. Well, I have... This is a bug right now. It'll be fixed by the time... Uh, you guys probably see this knowing that these devs. There is bear claws right here. And I'm using... Um, they have... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, what is that mod? Why can't I think of it? The one that blows things up um, and is overpowered. And I can't look on here because, uh, <laughs> but anyways, you can hit P and put that on the wall. So, okay, let's go and make the flint anyways, or sorry, the, uh, shear. So shear, we're going to go ahead and make you. So flaked flint and your little stringy mabopper. So we'll get one of those again, stringy mabopper. And flake flint, so these bigger ones. So it's good I didn't break those down. And I think it was like, well, let's just double check. Okay, they do go like that. Awesome. There you go. And these are kind of important because they can be used for quite a few things. Um, so you can cheer animals. I think you can even get bark. Those things I was having issues last time was actually bark itself. So that's a big deal now that I can uh, deal with bark. Uh, you can make a shield, by the way. Um, it's not like I've really used these much, but uh, if you didn't know, you can make shields. It's just planks there, it looks like. Uh, so let's grab some planks here. And basically, it's everywhere but the one corner there. So like this, I guess. There you go. And then you can upgrade your shield with stone. So we can go ahead and put this here. And then we can grab our stone here. And let's just double check that recipe. Okay, so it's up, 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 and down. Well, I guess everything technically. I was like, eh, that doesn't really make sense what I did. But I'm like, eh, and actually, you know what? No. So you have hit this, and it's supposed to mitigate a wee bit of damage. Oh, it's daytime now. And uh, yeah, so, and then the bark, and then uh, you got your other stuff. So I'm going to leave the nest today. I did uh, go around a bit, and I wanted to visit the forest right across the lake from us. Um, I thought I saw something interesting, so I want to I wanna peek at that and see what exactly was interesting over there. <laughs> it's like, I thought I saw something interesting, but I don't quite know if it was interesting or not yet. So we got to uh, investigate that to make sure we weren't crazy or whatever, right? So... Uh, we got the torches. I guess we could leave the the torches with us for now. I mean, I'm emptying my inventory. I don't really don't need to empty at all. But at the same time, I think, hey, you know, 
uh, more room in case if I find more, right? But then at the same time, it's like more like more stuff to deal with if... Uh, Okay, we're gonna hopefully get out of here. Ta-da. Oh no, not so ta-da. I didn't realize I didn't repair my ax recently. Where's that damn creeper that keeps visiting us? Is he inside the base? I hope not. Oh, there he is. Okay, I derped up here. If we're gonna do anything we need to repair Oh, not that one. We need to repair our axe. I don't know if I've shown you repairing, but basically you can go ahead and throw whatever there, take the stone, and that's repairing. We might as well do this for the shovel. Now the shovel, even though I think it's like one stone to build a shovel, I think you don't get the same durability. Wait a minute, did that table just break? What the? Let pee on the wall. Okay, that was interesting. The table just broke. We're running out of there because we don't want to deal with that creeper. He's a zombie village, which I think you can cure them with a health potion. And then he would turn into uh, whatever. There you go. So we're going to go over here. Oh, my uh, F7's on. There you go. That's kind of distracting and ugly. See what we got over here. So yeah, I'm using my axe as my main weapon. Um, I find it to be the best, to be honest. I, I won't... Uh, I will not not use it, basically, for now. Uh, just find it too useful. Uh, look at this. we got some pumpkins over here. So we're already getting something we don't have before. I don't know if there's much use for pumpkins yet, but uh, why not, right? We can even look, see if... Uh, oh, it reshuffled my inventory. Oh, yeah, sometimes you get these weird... Okay, so you get your pumpkin seeds. There's a transmutation that you can get pie from it. Okay, I'll go with that. Or cake, sorry. Nothing crazy, really. Just wanted to see it. You know, you might need it for something else, too. That's the thing, right? They, and there might be other unlocks later on, too. Maybe it's not showing up right, or who knows. I think it's time to collect these bushes, because they give food. They give decent amount of food. I don't see why we don't start collecting them, you know? Now, I did see something around here, but I don't remember where I saw it, unfortunately. It's not the biggest deal. It's just I thought I, thought I saw, like, a building or a hut or something, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I did see it and I lost it. This is the problem. I'm kind of going all over the place. I got a bit of a sense of direction, but at the same time, this was a, a whole sleep ago, like real life sleep. So it's like, eh. But no big deal. Let's go visit over here. Actually, these trees kind of remind me of something. So I don't know if I remember seeing these or not. Ooh, that land looks flat. That looks like a pers perfect place for a village. Okay, let's go visit it. Nice little hill here. Oop. Ow! Didn't think that was far enough to fall. You gotta be careful. We don't have any naughty creatures here right now. But over time, I think new creatures spawn as well. Even things like piranhas and stuff like that. From what I hear and understand, uh, the way it works is that basically over time, uh, when you uh, go through the ages, you will in fact... Ooh, that's bone. That's a vanilla thing. That's probably going to be stupid handy. Uh, from my understanding, as you advance, uh, what happens is that um, y y the mobs and stuff around you will get harder, tougher, maybe more abilities, things like that. So it's kind of like dynamic uh, mob leveling kind of thing, which I think is awesome. I think that's a, a brilliant idea. Oh, yeah, this is bone, and I can read it. Yes, this is, this is going to be handy. I won't probably mine at all because that's a whole episode. Oh, I see something ahead of us. 
We gotta go check that out quickly. What are you over here, sir? I think we have deserved a snack. The meat. Some of these meats are worth so much food. And you can eat them, overeat them. Interesting. Hello, anyone? Ooh, hello. <gasps> Ooh, seven feathers, eight ink. Okay, we found our map. Uh, let's see how this works. Wait, does it give me the meat too? Oh wow, they don't get mo they don't move, and I get the meat out of that. That is uh, beyond brilliant. Oh, this is awesome. Sorry, buddy, I need your food. Or oh. we probably have enough now. Yeah, way more than enough. Okay, let's run all the way over here as fast as we can. Okay slowly work our way over here as fast as we can <laughs> and uh, we're gonna quickly go and grab some ink sacks Now I have a bunch of ink sacks unfortunately at home but I think it would be just easier to fish new ink sacks than to go all the way back and we still have the Sun up so I think we'll be good we just need to uh, swim around oh good there's a pile of them over there as well so yeah, that shouldn't be too hard there we go um, I don't know if it wanted eight or so. I wasn't paying attention. Was it six, eight, four? We'll just kill a bunch of them, unfortunately. Poor squid. They're going to be over butchered because I didn't remember the numbers. I remember these used to hurt. I don't know if they're possible uh, at doing that anymore. or That was a mod or a alpha or beta thing or something related to it. I have no clue. There you go. I think we have enough. Okay, let's go back. We'll grab these just because they're on the way anyways. I'm sorry, buddy. For making me do it. Okay. So that's a big deal. That that was one of the main things. And the other one was f something with farmland. So of course I'm gonna have to find another village. Uh, that that is cool though. I didn't expect to see like a small village hut like that. I was expecting I would have to find an actual quote unquote big ass village, and that was the only way I was gonna be able to basically accomplish my goal here. So that alone was an awesome feat there. Okay, so we got our seven feathers. There we go. Lost and how? Oh, lost but now found. There you go. So if I think you re right click this, there you go. It's literally a map. Uh, not maybe the most decorative map in the world or anything like that, but basically it's all you need. It's something to get you started. You can put waypoints on it as well, um, which is probably one of the biggest uh, features. Actually, I should have checked that guy. Did he have any other traits? I mean, I think I need a farmer, so he's not a farmer, but uh, did you have any other trades? No. Probably good to check those things before you leave. <laughs> these are not growing. Okay. Awesome. We can shear these little guys. I'm sorry. You get feather in your thing. Oh, yeah, so let's try this out. This should give us bark, I think. Oh, you know what it was? Sorry, it's not this that gives you bark. Uh, it's the knife that gives you bark. What about piggies? No, you don't do anything? Okay. I feel like in these games we torment pigs enough uh, as is. So, Okay, let's head back. Um, I feel like we got a good start here with the uh, bit of exploration today anyways. And it is starting to change time, so we're going to have to be fighting back anyways a bit. Um, but uh, I can't say... Uh, I, th I say we did a really good job on here. Uh, let's do, uh, let's grab a couple more of these anyways. Screw it. We could probably take this in the, and craft them into bone meal, which will help as well. And you, you need farmland over time, which we'll have to figure that out as well. I think that'll be something I might just explore on my own. It's just finding another village and basically you're trading them. As far as I recall, what I heard, it was like a piece of bone meal literally will give you the farmland. It's nothing special, nothing big. You're just doing a simple trade and oh my and uh, you're doing just a really simple trade and then you get your uh, farmland and then I think you can craft it 
Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that one. Uh, I just hear a lot of people out there that were saying, I, I haven't really watched any series or anything like that because I didn't want to spoil it and I wanted to learn myself, but I did hear people talking uh, more than once on Discord and stuff that uh, you should um, save your bone meal, just use one because then I think you can craft it, I think. That's my assumption. What is that? A karate zombie? I'm so lost. Oh, is this another bone thing? Yeah, it is. Okay. So bones are on the menu. That sounds wrong and dirty, actually. Okay. Are we being a good puppy or a bad puppy? Ow. Ow. You were being good and I came after you, to be honest. Oh, yes. That's lots of wolf hide. I need the wolf hide, don't forget, for uh, more armor and stuff, so. As much as I don't enjoy killing the wolves, I need their damn hide. I could have tried shearing their hide, but I think they wouldn't like that so much. All right, so here's a sheep. I mean, we can snip his uh, stuff off. It's not quite the one I want, but you can make it into string too, I think. So uh, I think last time we saw that there was a recipe for string, so... Even if we don't put it back and we just convert it into string right away, it wouldn't be so bad. There you go. I feel bad using the shears on the uh, chickens, but... It's so worth it. <laughs> oh. He wasn't moving at first. I'm like, hmm, maybe I just will not move there. You can't over sh over shear them. Just checking. So now we don't have to kill poor sheep. We can just shear them up. Of course, if I need their hide or something later on, I might have to do that. But I think for now, it's not so bad. What I like is it's not too brutal here. Like, you can go around and explore at night without there being like a thousand mobs after you which i think that's kind of cool because uh, i think i you spend a long a lot of time at night just hiding i think at night you can easily explore it in this pack uh, at least to begin with and i like that a lot because why why make the person have to sit in their house all night long that's just not fun all the time you know kind of gets a little a lot of packs do that right so Okay. I think we're ready to go. Hopefully no creepers have... That would suck if a creeper found its way in here. I think we're safe. Safe and sound for now. Now, I actually kind of want to go out here again, and it might be important to get some of these torches around, you know, because the moss spawn right here, right? So it would make sense to get some of these just around, just to light up the area a bit. Less chance of mobs spawning on top of us, and uh, just keeps our uh, front yard, backyard, whatever, clean a bit. There you go. Oh, that one was a little off. Can we move you just slightly there? Is that enough? Yeah. Oh, almost enough. Is that enough now? Good enough. There you go. And I'll probably do that a bit more off camera too. Just light things up just a wee bit more. Oh, so we have our map, of course. Uh, so the first thing we should probably do now is we're... Oh, we're way over here. So this is where we picked up the map and now we're way over here. And we had explored more around here, but it only shows what you've explored since you've gotten the map. So... That's cool. So we go here, add a marker. Oh, cool. You got a bunch of labels. Get a home. Oh, you can use this for like a tiny one. This one for our actual home. So we can type in home here. 
this is a bed and there you go and now you'll be able to find your way home basically anytime you won't have to worry anymore uh about losing your home i guess if you go like a thousand blocks away or five thousand blocks away maybe something ridiculous and you explore it all around the world maybe finding the marker could be harder i don't know if the marker would show off the side of it it probably will show off the corner to be honest to show you the direction so even then, it wouldn't be probably so bad. But uh, that is awesome. We got the Atlas. I'm so excited by that. Uh, let's bring in this. And so I've been just basically stacking uh, the leather uh, so it repairs itself over time. And uh, we only got two wolf pet pelts. I Honestly, when I, when I got that wolf, I thought I got like a ton of them. But uh, apparently, we only got actually two of them. So let's put it there. Actually, do we have a spot for that one? Oh, that was the spot. Okay. Okay, these can stack. That's good. So I'll put that there. And then we'll put uh, you guys here, which you can turn into string. I don't remember. I think you just grind it, to be honest. But uh, let's try it. Let's put you in the grinder, shall we? Oh, I forgot. You had to shift click, I think. Well, that sucks. Or was it you just break it? <laughs> it's like when you're not sure, just break the damn thing. Okay. And then uh, we'll go and put this. I don't know if this can be. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay. Uh, I know there is a way to make string. Let's just type in string. Let's see how it's made. It is made by. Oh, it's just with the shears in the inventory. Okay. So there you go. Let's put the uh, mismatching one in there. Even though we got some anyways. There you go. Pretty simple recipe, honestly. We got another darker one there, too. Might as well grab the brown and the darker one. That way... Oh, they were just one of each anyways. There you go. So more string. And more string. So there you go. Very simple. And uh, that's how you get your string and wool and all that, which is awesome. And we'll go and put that in there. And then I guess it'll, for now, I'll just put the string in this chest and you get your feathers i must have a feather collection now i guess no i i don't think i've ever killed a chicken to be honest so no i guess i don't have a feather collection uh dun dun no let's get rid of this and rid of this just getting rid of our stuff here and just cleaning up our inventory a bit you there and you there Wild berry bushes. I'll plant them eventually. I don't care about them right now, but I do plan on uh, doing something later on with them. So, oh man, so that skeleton knows where I am. So they must be able to see me at times. So I'm gonna have to light up the area more because that could be very dangerous over time. Unfortunately, he he knows I'm here and he's he's honking his horn at me. So that 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 kind of answers that. Um, I don't think it happened. Was it with you guys or not? I'm not sure, but uh, at one point I actually had them blow a hole through the roof, so uh, it gives you an idea. They can get kind of violent up there. Okay. Oh, yeah. I wanted to check to see if the bone meal can go in this thing. Oh, there you go. Nine bone meal. I was like, maybe it's not going to work. And then boom. Please tell me that's daytime. Oh. Looks like daytime. See, that's something like that happened. And then I heard creeper blow up. So. Awesome. So there you go. You got a good, uh, decent source of bone meal now. Okay. So I'll do some touches around the base. I will get some more wood going. I just want to get, you know, oh, I got to craft my damn table again uh, and do some random things around maintenance, get some more torches and stuff put around. And then uh, we'll continue from there and uh, we'll see what we're up to. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.